Hi everyone, this is Chris Goblatt, founder of the Fish Reef Project, and I am pleased to show you the progress of our two reef balls off of Santa Barbara after 18 months. That's a vermilion baby rockfish you see in front of you, seeking refuge and growing to be a big giant rockfish eventually. That is an octopus. It's a juvenile copper rockfish, about a year and a half old, about as old as these reef balls are, which means it very well could have been born on this exact reef ball. There's three of them there. That's a beginning of a rockfish school, and they'll grow up to be large rockfish and have lots of baby rockfish, and we can restore a big segment of the rockfish population. That is Turkish towel or dulse. It's a red marine algae. So see. It just flows in the current. There's a lot of nutrition in there. That is the reef ball just when we put it down. You can see there's nothing on it but one little tiny fish. There's not even anything around it. Here we are 18 months later. There's life around it. There's a sand bass clearly seeking refuge in the reef ball next to a perch. And that is the southern reef ball and we will go to the surface and now we're down at the northern reef ball, 100 feet to the north. And this one is loaded with giant kelp. It's basically the beginning of an entire kelp ecosystem. It's full of perch that call the reef ball home. There's starfish, there's baby scallops. The kelp is important because it lowers acid levels in the ocean and it can sequester carbon from the atmosphere. So it's good for the ocean, it's good for the atmosphere, and it provides shelter uh, for a lot of marine species, places for animals to lay their eggs. Even the large pelagic fish like white sea bass and yellowtail will use the kelp beds. These reef balls have made it through an entire winter cycle with at least six swells up to t and some of them up to 12 feet, and they have not moved one inch. They haven't sanded in. They've been stationary the entire time, all the way through a full winter cycle. Actually, that is a close-up of a holdfast. You can see how the kelp just grabs onto it, the reef ball, and sets down a holdfast or root mass. The little air bladders carry the giant kelp to the sea surface, and the kelp can grow up to 18 inches in a day. It's really an amazing plant. There's at least three or four different species of perch there. And I count at least three different species of, of brown marine algae. There's kelp, there's laminaria, and around the reef ball there's more life. Not just on the reef ball, but it has like a halo effect as we call it. Now we're taking a look inside. As you can see, there's debris on the bottom there. The fish reef project, as you can see, yesterday was Halloween in the year 2013. And we've just been reunited with our two reef balls that have been underwater for about 18 months. Uh, that you can see sand bass, you can see perch, you can see calico bass, you can see sculpin, you can see brown rockfish, you can see a couple species of rockfish that I didn't even recognize. Big giant, um, two big giant um, octopus, uh, clams, crabs everywhere. Uh, what else is down there? Um, laminaria grows to it, dulse, the red seaweed that comes off of it. Um, this is really a work in progress and we're really, really excited about what the future holds. This is what a full-scale fish reef will look like, and with your support, we'll get there. I'd like to thank our key donors and supporters, and together we can help ocean life thrive.